The ingredients that we'll be using today. I just like the extra firm because I don't want it too squishy. That consistency is. Ugh. Hello and welcome back, Warriors. I am your host, Daniel Ficair, founder and CEO of Ficair Fitness. And I want to thank you for jumping on with this new recipe that we're going to be trying out today. So I wanted to do something more on the healthy side. As of late, I've been making a lot of vegan desserts, which aren't bad. I mean, they're much better alternatives than like, you know, the other heavy recipes that you might see. But I want to get back to my, my regular as far as making something that you guys would be able to enjoy for either lunch or dinner. This is going to be a high protein roasted vegetable salad that you guys will be able to make. Not just for today, but it's almost like a meal prep because we'll be placing it into a mason jar. So you can make it for lunch or dinner or both. It's really up to you and what you're trying to do with your fitness goals. So I don't want to hold you too long. We're going to get right into the recipes. So the ingredients that we'll be using today, starting with the front row, is organic green wise extra firm tofu, lemon juice, low sodium garbanzo bean, extra virgin olive oil, organic thyme, chili powder, salt, and pepper. In the back row, we have broccoli and cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, and spinach. With these ingredients, we're getting a high pack protein with our tofu, our garbanzo beans, broccoli and cauliflower, broccoli slightly a little more, uh, Brussels sprouts, and with the spinach. This is great for anyone who's looking to start building muscle mass or if you're at a point right now in your fitness journey where you're trying to lose weight but still get a good source of protein, this is a great way to go and doing it a vegan route. What we're going to do now is start with the prepping side. So I'm going to show you all the steps, that way you guys can be able to do this at home. Follow along. We now have the vegetables in the oven. I place it at 400 degrees. We're gonna put it for 25 minutes. Uh, you don't have to necessarily put it for the full 25 minutes. You just wanna kind of peer off and keep looking in just to see as far as the vegetables getting tender, um, especially with the tofu. The tofu that I got was extra firm. Now, you can get any variety, it's up to you. I just like the extra firm because I don't want it too squishy. That consistency is ugh, to me. So um, I just wanted to get in and make sure that I got it extra firm. Um, you can get that at Publix or any one of your local grocery stores that give you all varieties. I always prefer extra firm. Uh, I did have dressing that I was gonna try and make from scratch. However, the hummus that I wanted to use, uh, my wife said it was bad. She said it was bad. Uh, my wife said it was bad, so um, I, I couldn't use it. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and use, you guys are used to this one. Let me grab it for you. You guys are used to this brand. This is the Skinny Girl Balsamic Vinaigrette. You guys remember this from the old school? My OGs, you remember this one. We used to get this all the time to eat with our salad. You have any option that you like to choose from when it comes to salad dressing. I prefer this one because it's very low as far as, actually, I don't even think there is sugar. But um, <laughs> for, the, for two tablespoons, it's total fat, zero, only 90 milligrams of sodium. Total carbs is just one gram in that in that two tablespoons. Uh, does not have protein, but again, this is just a really, just a natural, and it's a very nice, uh, sweet, tangy taste to end off with the vegetables that we're gonna be adding on. But I'll show you again when we're doing a whole placement, and you'll see how it looks in the mason jar. Heads up, what I did was I put it onto the top of the, uh, what is it called? The oven rack, um, almost like a broil. I put it for an extra 10 minutes because I wanted that tofu to be extra firm. So you don't have to do that, just the regular 25 minutes, as you can see, works perfectly fine. 
but I just wanted to do that just to kind of have a little bit more firmness in my tofu. So we're gonna do the fun part right now. This is just gonna be dressing it up. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually make one for right now because I'm hungry. And then I'm also gonna show you as far as how to be able to prep it. So I'll show you how to put it into the mason jar as well. Look at that. Let's go ahead and pray over this, guys. Lord God, thank you so much for your opportunity to be able to make this wonderful meal, Lord God, that we can enjoy. Protein pack, Lord God, to help build our muscles and make us stronger, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the ingredients. Thank you for allowing us to be able to make this, Lord God. Thank you for those who are out there watching. I pray that you bless them and their families, Lord God. Let this be only healing and nourishing to our bodies. Anything bad, we pray that you please remove it. Anything good, help it to be plentiful. We pray for healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. And healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. We love you, praise you, glorify you, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's take a bite of this, guys. It smells incredible. As you saw for an additional, this is just optional, you don't have to do this, but I added um, avocado on top, as well a little bit of extra, um, as well a little bit of dried cranberries, just for a little bit of sweetness on there. All right, I try, <laughs> I try to stuff this fork. Let's take a bite. This was so good. I mean, having the vegetables roasted is already a plus, but like um, just having all of that taste, the seasoning on top of that, you already get that, that mixture of like, you know, the sweet potato, you feel that like uh, the avocado, the broccoli, cauliflower, that in itself, for me personally, I love vegetables, so I love that taste already. But that flavor of the chili powder mixed in with like the black pepper and the salt, it just enhances the taste as well. I strongly suggest doing the cranberries just to give it a little bit of a sweet taste at the end. This is really good. I'm excited to finish it. And as you guys saw, we still have one. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. This is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Um, I know it looks like a little bit small, but as you see, you can jam pack these. This one I believe is an eight ounce. You can get like a 16 ounce mason jar. Whatever you like that, you know that is gonna keep you filled and, and, and keep you plenty filled. But this was actually really good. That sweet potato, I already know that carb is gonna help to keep me full throughout the night, as well that protein that we have mixed in there. I'm excited to finish this. Oh, I feel like back to my old roots. I, I haven't been as good as I should be when it comes to eating a lot of my vegetables and greens, so it feels good to kind of go back to this because now I'm like, it makes me want to do it again. And I'm so excited to not only eat this for lunch, but have that for dinner. I'm already on the right track, you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. I appreciate your time, you guys being a part of this channel with us and always coming back just to see what else we're making next. Don't forget to comment below any healthy food ideas that you'd like for us to try next. As you guys know, we never like to close out without giving an opportunity to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. He is a friend of mine and staff and we'd like to share him out there with you who are watching. It's a simple prayer, you can just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. That is baby Daniel back there congratulating you guys. If you made that prayer with us, please get into a Bible-based church where you'll be able to grow spiritually. And if you have any troubles finding one, please get in contact with either myself or Steph, and we'll be more than happy to help you along in that journey. Warriors, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this channel with us. My OGs, you know what's next. Newbies, come on, say it along with us. Like, comment, subscribe, share, please. <laughs> By doing so, you're just helping us with the algorithm and helping us to share our healthy eating life story with those out there who are looking to do the same. I appreciate you guys, and until next time, Warriors, peace.